Hey, guys, how It's your girl, Britt Brack, going live with the Breeze Hawk, and I'm fresh from my vacation, and y'all been acting up. Y'all been acting up, and we're going to talk about this cucumber challenge, baby, but before we get into it, like, comment, and subscribe, tap that notification down below, and remember, opinions are not facts. So that being said, before we get into it, get you a motherfucking passport, baby. The world is an open book waiting for you to explore. If y'all allow the media, mainstream media, to tell you what life is like, y'all are going to be scared and terrified in your homes. I'm sorry. I had the best time ever drinking from the mini bar in my room, drinking all over the resort. I had a good time. I just had fun, and it was just nice and refreshing to see so many of us black people out there having a good time because they swear we don't travel y'all y'all better go travel the ends of this earth because child and take your kids too kids remember there was so many babies out there and they were well kept and quiet i was here for this like, go ahead parents now let's switch gears this cucumber challenge so for those that don't know little boosie shared a post of a girl sucking on a cucumber i think she's hispanic i don't know she was very racially ambiguous sucking on a cucumber and then there was like a whole bunch of comments and it was people big up in her and then there was people bashing like women you need to respect yourself and, da -da -da -da. and i'm honestly like this if you don't like it don't comment don't go on nobody's page with that bullshit if it's in the blogs that's one thing but somebody's personal page like why and then i'm just like this we are such hypocrites because when the boys were doing it when the gay boys was doing it nobody had an issue hypocrites much i'm just like child let them do what they want with their body i thought we was having a city girl summer you know we was on that ball-headed hoe shit are we not doing that because i'm not reading no bible on my vacation not this summer mm-mm mm-mm Mm -mm. in the words of my dad you know <laughs> if you're gonna party with the devil make sure you rise with jesus and that's what i'm doing all summer 19 you hear me do you understand me but anyways let's get back into it so it went on trouble has this she's a winner hashtag she is a winner i'm gonna hashtag it here so y'all can see it where girls are just doing all kinds of things and they were sucking on cucumbers and being real freaky and I was like, these bitches got skills. I hope none of them are struggling. I pray they get flewed out all over the world. Girl, showcase. And then people are just like, why do you have to expose yourself? Why can't we just be queens? I hate social media and da da da. And I'm just like, you don't have to watch it. Like, I don't understand. I, and quite frankly, I'm just like, I don't know if it's because I'm 32, but I quite frankly do not care. You know why? Because I grew up in the Buffy the Body era. I grew up in the Video Vixen era. I grew up in the Superhead era. I grew up in the Don't Stop, Pop That Pussy, Let Me See You Doo Doo Brown. I grew up in the whole Players Club atmosphere and none of that made me want to do none of those things none of that was just like girl i'm gonna go out here and start no i did those because i was grown i was not influenced by it now i get it some people are easily influenced but that just goes back to show like maybe you should ask that person why are they so easily influenced you know they might need a little mental help a self-love I don't know if that's a lack of parenting or what. I don't know. I'm not a, a parent. But my niece is saying she's never like, I want to do that. Never. Because we love on we love on them. They see all kinds of stuff. My niece sees me do she do she see me do half dress and do half, some of the most off the wall shit sometimes, but never do she be like, I want to be like my TT because of that. She just likes the fact that I eat at bomb ass restaurants and I go to to places she wanna go. Like she's a beach girl. That's all I'm saying. I really feel like we need to reel it back in. And it shows the insecurity because honestly, when Regine was doing that video, I was just like, girl, at your man, at YF and Lucci, while he was out at Cucumber Fest, say, say exactly why you're making this video. Don't just make it seem like it's degrading and all this other bullshit because we seen you sis twerking on Instagram. Like I, I can't stand that. I can't stand hypocrites. Masika was being a hypocrite. Cash Doll was being a hypocrite. And everybody was like, but twerking and da da da. No, it is very much the same when y'all posing half naked on Instagram and snapping all this other bullshit. But you mad at some bitches sucking on cucumbers 
fully clothed at that. I mean, the one girl with B King did expose her titties, but B King has bitches half near naked on stage. Anybody who's been to that concert knows that. And I grew up watching the Hot Boys when they had bitches twerking on fake dicks and getting naked and showing their pussy on stage. I grew up with that thanks to my aunt Jamaica, you know, cause she was old enough to take me. But I was like, ooh, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. So I was just like, these women are doing it because they want to. And those were like doctors and lawyers. Like y'all making it seem like it's hood rat hoes. These is uh, well off women doing this shit. And so trouble, he said, um, parental advisory. Look, if you don't want to participate, you don't want to participate, but I'm offering up $3,000 cash money. I said, how is this any different from when Young Miami and them was having bitches flewed out and it was twerking all over social media? How is that any different? Because it wasn't like they was twerking fully clothed. That's all I'm saying. Have y'all seen the cucumber challenge? Were you offended by it? And I would like to put this disclaimer out there. Like, if you were offended, I can't help the fact that you were offended. My only question is, why were you offended? And if y'all go into the, well, people should have some decorum about themselves, let me tell you something. Since Woodstock, people have been exposing themselves and doing all kinds of things, and this didn't start with hip hop. This started actually with rock music because them girls was literally on stage doing all kinds of stuff. They brought out stripper culture and uh, porn culture, and it just transcended into all of the other realms of music don't make it seem like it's just a rap thing this is not a black thing we have so many other issues we could be talking about but y'all are mad about some cucumbers and some fruit and honestly they're getting a little bit more action than me so i'm here for it suck on that fruit bitch some of y'all need to give out tips y'all can make money okay you can make money some of you need to suck a little bit of dick okay suck a nigga dick or something okay all right give me your thoughts down below and bye hoes